Well, if you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. Because there's a million things to be. You know that there are. Walter Matthau and Maureen Stapleton have the Plaza Suite. I brought your toothbrush. You forgot my pajamas? I didn't forget, I just didn't bring them. Why not? Because it's suite 719 at the Plaza, and I didn't think you'd want your pajamas. Well, you know I can't sleep without pajamas. I took that into consideration. I don't understand you. One lousy little bag is all I asked you to pack. Walter Matthau and Barbara Harris have the Plaza Suite. I'm nervous about meeting you, Mr. Famous Hollywood producer. I haven't changed since I left Tenafly. I made a couple of pictures, that's all. Walter Matthau and Lee Grant have the Plaza Suite. What do you mean, she's not sick exactly? Either she's sick or she's not sick. Is she sick? She's not sick. Then let's have a wedding. Mimsy, there's $200 worth of cocktail frankfurters getting cold downstairs. Now, from the producer of The Odd Couple and the director of Love Story, comes Neil Simon's biggest Broadway comedy hit, Plaza Suite, starring Walter Matthau. I'm dying to know, are you having an affair with her or not? And you'll believe me. Cross my heart. No, I'm not having an affair with her. Yes, you are. And Walter Matthau. Yes, I've got Humphrey Bogart's house and a silver gray Maserati, but I'll tell you what I haven't got. I haven't got love. I haven't got happiness. I've got a 360 degree bed and 180 degrees of it are empty. And Walter Matthau. Now we're gonna have door breaking. Get out of the way. All right, Mimsy, I'm coming in. Don't, don't, don't! I'm just saying, at this stage of your life, you wanted a nice quiet affair with a young skinny woman. I'd understand. What do you mean at this stage of my life? I have a wonderful life, Larry and I. A wonderful marriage? I wanted to do that very much. Are, are you going to do it again? What are you going to tell them? Are you going to say that my daughter is not going to marry their son and that she's locked herself in a bathroom? What do you want me to do? Start off with a couple of good jokes? Everyone cheats with their secretaries. I expected more from my husband. Swell. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Why did I come here in the first place? What have I done? You haven't done anything. Don't now, will you let go of me? Right. <laughs> Hey, you in there? You happy now? Your mother's got torn stockings, your father's got a rented, ripped coat. I'm coming after you, Mimsy. I'm coming after you with my one good arm. This was Germany in the early 30s. Hello, stranger. Full of life. And love. Meine Damen und Herren, Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies und gentlemen, Fräulein, Sally Balls! This was Sally Bowles in the early 30s. I don't ride dash all day, and I work late at the cabaret. Full of life. I love parties. Doesn't my body drive you wild with desire? And love. Oh, Brad. A special girl. I'm going to be a great film star. <laughs> that is a booze and sex. Don't get me first. On the brink of something fantastic. I mean, it would be funny, wouldn't it, if he asked me to become the next Baroness von Hoyne in Regensburg? <laughs> 
and frightening. I'm Sally Bowl. I'm Brian Roberts. And I have this strange, mystical, daddish feeling about you. So you're moving right in, okay? Okay? Have you ever slept with a dwarf? Once, but it wasn't a lasting relationship. Well, do you sleep with girls or don't you? Sally, you don't ask questions like that. I do. Poor man. He tries to love me. I may have my tiny faults. God damn it, I'm gonna have a baby! Sally is rather knowledgeable in these areas. Does it really matter as long as you're having fun? What good is sitting all alone in your room? Come, hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to the cabaret. Start by admitting from cradle to tomb. It isn't that long a stay. Life is a cabaret, old chum. It's only a cabaret, old chum. And I love a cabaret. Can I refuse a lovely looking bird like you? They met by chance, three happy-go-lucky young people. A fateful encounter that was destined to explode into a violent showdown. She fancies you, you know. It's no good. I'm married. We needn't tell her. You're a straight fellow, aren't you? I mean, you're not a con man. On the fiddle or anything like like Barry. Is Barry on the fiddle? Mister, give us a hand down there, will you? Get an ambulance, will you? Tell him emergency. That was good what you done then. He's a copper, didn't you know? A copper on the beat, a soldier without a gun. All coppers are. An explosive drama that pulls no punches. A violent clash of two bitterly opposed worlds. I hate these demos. All them flying stones. Oh, they just bounce off of me, love. They really do. Oh, are you OK? Oh, lovely. Got yours in there. Never take it off. Even in bed. Sorry, love. Can you get some help down here quick? Otherwise, there'll be nobody left to rescue. Can you hear me? A savage, brutal conflict of ideals that destroyed a friendship. You have been inside, haven't you? Maybe. A big job? Big enough. What do you want me to do? All I'm looking for, Mr. Wade, is a buyer. Look, I mean, you say... You just deliver the goods. Then you get your money, right? <laughs> These gates were usually kept closed at this time in the morning. All Coppers Are features Martin Potter as Joe, the copper. Julia Foster as the mixed-up Sue who lived for kicks. Nicky Henson as Barry, a small-time crook whose only friend was a copper. And guest star Ian Henry as Mr. Wade. He knows what all coppers are. What would you do if you were a crook and your best friend turned out to be a copper? It's war. Here's the hack show. The nasty suburban kind. <laughs> With no quarter asked <laughs> and none given. You sprayed them? No. You should have done. It's the only way to control pests. 
Yes, the laughs come bigger. Try it this way. And even the water's wetter. The fights are filthier. <laughs> the custard pies are stickier. Someone's in for a pasting. As Sid James and Diana Coupland slog it up with new neighbours, Terry Scott and June Whitfield. Between you and me, Sid, he's a bit of a big head. I can't see him helping you with your concrete. With <laughs> Peter Butterworth thrown in for good measure. I've always got you, haven't I? Yeah. What's the idea? Stay that it set. We'll use it for a garden now. When they're not wallowing in the soft stuff, <coughs> they're getting into the hard stuff. Was making whiskies illegal, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is. I don't know what it was. It took four coats of paint off in no time. And when they're not in the hard stuff, they're uh, into something else. 200 years old and only 50 peas. Only 50 peas? They must have kept it in the way. <laughs> Where's Sally gone? To an anti-pollution meeting. <laughs> On a serious note, we are being polluted on all sides. Listen, if uh, one week you find your can't manage it, just come and see me. I'm very understanding, you know. You met the landlord. You mean Mr. Oldham? Yeah, and you want to Oldham when he's around. On the other hand, there's always something to keep your spirits up. Do you still refuse? You know why? What is it you do exactly? I know you're some kind of civil servant. Customs and excise. I'm a collector. It's my job to collect all the duty payable on tobacco and... Um, uh, spirit. So long as your daughter doesn't get too stuck up and your son doesn't shrink too much, the parents can fight it out for greater stakes. In the end, you know, they'll all get on like a house on fire. Full details of programs at this cinema can be found in the Evening Mail, your guide to our programs. India, land of fascination with a tempting and distinctive cuisine. For authentic Indian dishes, visit this restaurant. The atmosphere of India and Indian courtesy will add to your enjoyment. Horns make it fun to have clothes. Sir, we don't want to cause an obstruction, do we? Oh, no, Constable, no, I'm not stopping. I just can't get started. Allow me, sir. Yes, but I, am. Um... Contact? Y yes, I know, but um, uh, I've already tried that. I don't know, it was all right when I bought it, but somehow the engine seems to be sort of, well, uh, uh, missing. You are absolutely right, sir. The engine is missing. But, 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 officer, whatever can I do? There is only one thing to do, sir. You must stop the check. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Here. I haven't got a bank. Then you should have. Go to Barclays. It will save you a lot of trouble. Cut motoring costs with the Honda Civic 1200. Honda's advanced engineering is especially designed to give you economy motoring. 37 MPG, touring on two-star petrol. Yet it's designed to cut motoring costs, not standards. The Honda Civic, a surprisingly pleasant and refined car to drive, with outstanding performance, thoroughbred handling. The Honda Civic starts at 1,470 pounds. Available in 1,200cc or four-door 1,500. For a test drive, see this week's Sunday Mirror.
Get in the hang of it. Mind the banisters, son. Oh, I can't hold it, Dad. Don't worry, son. I shifted more counters than you've had hot dinners. Cream. Cream, Mr. Shifter. Like refreshment. Oh, thank you most kindly, madam. Oh. One way of shifting it. When a good cup of tea really counts, you're right to drink Brookbond PG tips. It's the tea you can really taste. Dad, do you know the piano's on my foot? You have it, son. I'll play it. Traveling down a dusty road, going to meet my friends. Heading for the movies, right around the bend. Looking for a good time, looking for what's real. Knowing that a good time is the thing that's real. It's the real thing, Coke. Intermission is the time, refreshments and my friends. Knowing all along. That's where it all begins Looking for a good time Looking for what's real Knowing that a good time Is the thing that's real Especially when it's Coca-Cola It's the real thing Yes, Coke is the good time real thing It's the real thing Darling, does you love me enough to... Of course I love you. Sure. But I should butter kiss, don't I? Mm. Butter kissed. On sale now. Lions made strawberry time. Dairy ice cream and crushed strawberries, topped with a dollop of real cream. How about a refreshing golden orange, made with the juice of a whole orange? <laughs> or a Cornish chocolate sundae. Creamy vanilla and rich chocolate ice cream. Delicious. <laughs> Lion's made is so much fun to eat. Whichever one you choose, with Lion's made, <laughs> you're laughing. 